that when we have the when we talk about the electric car, thereby we are supposed to provide the charging station after every few kilometers. Then again, it has got very less battery life. If we talk about the solar cars, there look at the power to weight ratio given by it. It's too less, and it requires an extensive charging time. And carrying those traveling with those large panels on the road, that or something awkward and that's not too practical. So what's the solution for it? So basically, our approach is to work on new technologies and innovations in current automobiles. And to make the present cars eco-friendly, instead of discussing our futuristic technology, which can be possible in India in next 10 to 15 years. So to begin, we have the exhaust gas recirculation system. In this system, a, part, a portion of the exhaust is taken out, cooled, and then recirculated again back to the engine air intake. Now the purpose of doing this is that when 100% fresh fresh charge enters the combustion chamber. Then at that time, the combustion temperature rises to a high, high temperature and therefore the production of NOx is more. But by introducing these non-combustible exhaust gases, we are reducing the volume of the exhaust, volume of the intake fresh charge and which reduces the peak combustion temperature. And as a result, the production of NOx is reduced to a high level. You, you can see very clearly that it reduces NOx by 0 0.07 to 2.2 grams per hour per hour and it's nearly 30.33% reduction. So it's a great value. The so next one we have as the Crankcase ventilation system. So, to understand this crankcase ventilation system, we are supposed to look at the inside of the engine. During the combustion process, leakage between the piston rings and the liners causes the combustion gases to enter the, in, enter the crankcase. These gases are called as blowback gases and they are not eco friendly and they have to be removed continuously from the crankcase to avoid inadmissible rise in the pressure. So in the, in the simplest case, what we could have done was to provide an opening in the crankcase so that these gases are, are released, released from below. But by doing this, we are letting the unburnt gases and, and hydrocarbons into the atmosphere, which is not at all eco-friendly. So a state-of-the-art feature is a closed, closed crankcase ventilation system where the blow-by gases are taken out by an extraction point on the engine, such as the rocker cover, and then they are provided to an oil separator. After the separation is done, the oil returns back to the oil sump and the purified Blowback gases are then again recirculated to the engine air intake to return to the combustion process. And see, we, we, this, in this way we are reducing the hydrocarbon emissions into the atmosphere. You can see very clearly that the research carried by Dr. Lloyd claimed that it reduces hydrocarbon emission by 34.53% and it's really a good value. And now the next, next topic we move on is the catalytic converter. Now this gift was given to us by the French mechanical engineer Eugene Henry. It basically treats the exhaust gases. Now the catalytic converter basically consists of two ceramic blocks which are having honey.